On today's classic movie review, AJ, rest easy. We're only going back 10 years. Nice, nice, nice. But it's a biggie. And as always, AJ, you all have seen the thumbnail, so you know what movie's coming up. AJ has never been informed of what movie we're about to talk about, so the reaction you see, always natural. AJ, <laughs> 10 years old this week. The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Do you know what's really, really funny is literally as we speak, just before going into recording, I've mm. just left my front room and Crazy Stupid Lovers playing. And there's this love yeah, that Emma Stone, Emma Stone going go. on. So it's all, all like, and, you know, we're, we're both going on for this conversation of really like everything she's done. And I nearly brought up. Sure. Does that include the Spider-Man movies? <laughs> and here we are discussing 10 years of amazing Do you know what, too. mate? I I'll say this, and I think you'll agree with me. Despite how good Tom Holland is, I've still got a weird, maybe unfounded soft spot for a old Andy G, man. I love Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. I have this weird situation where I really didn't want to lose Andrew. Tom yeah. came in, and now looking back at Amazing Spider-Man, I think the age gap between them, he does feel like an older Peter Parker. So it's, it's, it's weird to see him playing an equal student. I've always loved everything that Andrew Garfield's done as Spider-Man. Yes. So in that level, I, there's no like, disrespect. It's just, it, it's great. I think one of the things about this film as well is that there was a lot of hate on it. Um, I... Don't really follow the hate, if I'm honest. I quite enjoyed this film. I know everyone wasn't a big fan of Electro and stuff like that. It was different, but like, okay, it was a bit weird, like Jamie Foxx being the Spider Man fanboy turned villain. I didn't hate it. Hate? No, I thought I thought the way that people buried this movie was a bit extreme. Um, it's Side note, you noticed Andrew Garfield has been kind of quiet the last few years. Like, I haven't seen him do much of anything since Tick, Tick, Boom. And that was a few years ago now. He's, he's kind there of entering that. And, and there was one other. I can't think what it was, but there was one. The other. one he did with Jessica Chastain that went on Disney Plus, right? I believe that. Yeah. 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 He, he's kind of entering that weird period for male actors where they get less and less roles until they come back and they're older. Feel bad for him, but. I think Andrew's about to enter those years, but okay. Yes. Yeah, so the amazing Spider-Man 2. Here's my take on it. I think there are a lot of negatives in it. Like Paul Giamatti, who is a world-class actor doing that awful rhino stuff. Come to play little spider. I thought that was unforgivable. Like you, you can't do that, man. That's not cool. I thought, um, I thought Jamie Foxx's Electro definitely redeemed in Spider-Man No Way Home. Much cooler. Um, but yeah, they, they, they didn't go about that the right way. Which is sad because they actually had some good ideas about Electro. Like the way he first appears and he's like, you're trying to stop me. You know, he kind of loses control. I kind of dug that scene. Yeah. That what the movie... And you know what? Hell, Dame DeHaan as the Goblin I thought was interesting. Yes, I it was, yes. It was really, really interesting. Two great actors, Dane DeHaan and Andrew Garfield, acting alongside each other. That was a positive because Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone were actually dating at the time. Their yeah. on-screen chemistry, man, it was infectious. Like, they were yeah. genuinely a really, really sweet couple. Um, it, but it really suffered from pacing. It, like, it felt too long. The, the the shining triumph of this movie. That spoiler, but the movie is officially ten years old now. So I wouldn't. It, I wouldn't go into spoil. I mean, I would just say if you know, you know. The Gwen, the, the, yeah. the Gwen, the Gwen and Goblin, yeah. and like the Tower. Okay. Yeah, that was incredible. Like I'd go on a limb and say that is one of the purest adaptations from comic page to film I have ever seen. Ever. Like that was a frame for frame recreation of the comic book that I thought you, that was incredible. You practically beat me to it. Um, I think that and as much as I don't want to I'm not bring up the other side, but I'll bring up the other side. 
Dark Knight Rises when Bruce and Bane have their their fight, yeah. and those are the two that I'm like. That's exactly how I've seen it. And that, that's what that moment was. Um, it's one of those moments that you think, is it going to happen? And I'm, again, I've always said it. I'm the biggest comic book fan that's never picked up a comic book or many comic books. But I was very familiar with this through the Fox Kids and seeing a few of uh, Stanley's interviews, RIP. And you're very familiar with that one. And you're like, are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? And when they do it, you're like, they've done it. And oh my gosh, it's exactly how I pictured it. Like they, mm. they, they nailed it. They really did. They so. really, really nailed it. But the movie was... And do you know what? The other thing... I, I actually... There's there's a huge mystery about this film. Because contrary to popular belief, the movie was a box office success. Like, it made nearly 700 million at the box office. This was not a flop. For reasons I cannot understand. Because, listen, people are going to be like, oh, well, the studio listened to the fans. Studios never listen to fans. Like, th th never. The only time studios listen to fans is if the money doesn't come in. That's how you speak to a studio, is if you don't go and support their movie, that sends the message of, don't make this type of movie because you will not get my money. That's all they care about, that bottom line, right? This movie was a financial success. I am still to this day shocked that the movie was successful Andrew Garfield was mostly well received. There were still a contingent of people who were like, Toby Maguire's my Spider-Man. I can't cannot relate to that. But everything in this movie. No, sorry, not everything. A lot of things in this movie worked, and the setup that they were clearly leading to for the third movie, like the Sinister Six were not just teased, like we saw them, like we saw the suits, we saw the underground layer. I was like, cool this one may not have been the best movie but i'm genuinely excited for three so you're announcing that they have uh, fired andrew garfield and mark webb as the director and actor on spider-man wait what now did spider-man 2 make money 700 million what mystery i cannot for the life of me understand <laughs> what happened what happened with this one shall we see the trailer we can we can Let's check out the trailer. You know, maybe we'll watch the trailer and be like, yeah, this is all sorts of misleading. But let's 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 have a butcher's. I doubt it, but let's have a look. You know what it is I love about being Spider-Man? Great suit. Awesome yeah. suit. Oh, cool. He's a partner. There he is. It's been 10 years. What have you been up to? I do some web design. Awesome. <laughs> nice arm. It's just the wrist. It's just on the wrist, buddy. Oh, Peter. You're going to want to see us. Oscorp. Yet you under surveillance. Why? Isn't that the question of the day? Nothing what i thought it was i once told you that secrets have cost the truth does too yeah all of this didn't work for me the way uncle ben was somehow involved with us i hated that his parents yeah yeah sorry his mum and dad you're right we have plans for peter parker you wanted to be the hero now you gotta pay the price We can change the world. Then let's go catch a spider. Uh, I, know. I made a choice. This is so cool. cool. This is bigger than you, Peter. I'm the only one who can stop them. Awesome. I'm Spider-Man. Yeah, you are. This is... Yeah. Oh. Hey, I gotta go. I'm coming with you.
you. Martin, it's too dangerous. Sorry, I love you. Don't hate me. Peter! <laughs> and final shot of the movie. Bro, I tell you what. That trailer is freaking great. It has aged really well. I think it's. A, I think now, having watched it, I see why people were so angry with the movie because it, that trailer really did kind of just show the best of. It's really funny you say that because I was looking at like the whole electro. You don't even see the fanboy in that trailer. It just looks like mm. a, a sinister villain popping up. No pun intended on sinister, mm. but um, you know it's oh, well done. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, a bit of a highlight reel, wasn't it? It's it's the best bit. Sorry, I'm really fighting to cough here. Um, it's the best bit and nothing else, isn't it? So when you do see the film, and as you said, the pacing oh, doesn't match. Okay. So you're looking at something like that, which looks like fast-paced action. The film doesn't give you that. I wasn't so against the um, the history of his parents like you were. Oh, uh, such it, a it fucking was weird. I was like, okay, is it something filler. I'm not familiar with? Again, because no. my comic book knowledge is deep, but not, I don't know about the different 101 variations of Spider Man that there are out there and what have you. So I was like, maybe it exists out there. But yeah. Do you know what? The one takeaway, I think if they completely focused on the Peter and Harry story, not wasted time with Electro and definitely not wasted time with Rhino. Just do a goblin story and then build the Sinister Six in the next movie. I actually think they would have had a better movie on their hands. Do you know, it's, it's really funny because I think that whole thing is, there's a part of the trailer that said begins and you could tell they were really building to lead into that, as you said. At the yeah, and I was interested to see what happens next, man. I really, really was. Like I really was. I wanted to see Andrew Garfield. Anyway, look, we can reminisce. It never happened. I don't think the movie is as bad as everyone says. I think it has some redeeming qualities, but I do appreciate it has a lot of bad pacing issues, unnecessary uh, villain portrayals, over bloated in terms of how much it was trying to achieve, and arguably not enough action in relation to how much the trailer let you to believe action there would be. I'm still going to give it a thumbs up. Do we do half? I can't remember if we do half. You can do half. One and a half. Reason being... Oh, damn. No, one, reason, reason being, it's definitely not a two thumbs, and it's definitely not goat territory. No. But, but we've talked about the if you know, you know scene. Um, there's also the element of... I feel like... Because it's different, they tried something out there. It it's good. The pacing may be slightly off, but they tried to give you different feelers and why and how Peter has to really want to take on Oscorp mm. from a different angle. There are different elements that they tried. I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be. Is it the best? No. But do you know what? It's the last we saw. Well, the last we saw of Andrew Garfield as Spider Man. So with that, I, I think it is worth there. The chemistry, as you said. The P and something I also also really really appreciate about Amazing Spider Man, they went from the beginning. They gave yeah. us Peter and Gwen. You know, yeah, that's something everyone else, everyone, everyone knows about MJ. No one really knows about Gwen. They gave us Gwen, and everyone's like, mm -hmm. "Where did that come from?" No, Gwen is very instrumental in Peter Parker's story. Hugely, and the chemistry between Peter, um, Andrew, and Emma was insane in both. Films. Oh, it was real. There was no yeah. acting there. They were literally dating. Um. I, I'll also, as a one last parting thing, I'll say I am sick to death of people saying Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3 was better than this. Just... Oh, behave. Just suck my... Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, no, you no. You know, no, just no. shush. But yeah, guys, let us know what you think. Just how good was The Amazing Spider-Man 2? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Please do be sure to like the video if you haven't done so already. Uh, we want to hear from you guys. Subscribe to the channel if movies are your jam. And we will see you right here on the Silver Screen Dudes for another classic movie review. See ya.